guys welcome back so I'm going to tell you a wee dabbler pattern uh, this one's called the emerald dabbler hook and device Amazon B175 and size 10 probably ties doing your size 14 thread I'm going to use is uni 3801 black that's uh, a good wee fly for uh, log iron so I'm just going to work the thread back just hold back the point past the point of the hook the tail on the fly, just looking some bronze mallard favours for the tail. Just taking off off. Now, some people like a good tail, good thick tail on a fly. It's up to you. The length, up to you as well on the dabbler. And just sort of way looking this the length of the hook over the bag. Take two or three turns to catch in your tail. Come on and trim away the the waist rib, you're gonna chartreuse ultra wire, catch that in, and then for the body, you're looking at a large holographic olive tinsel. Now, if you don't have olive, just use chartreuse. And we'll just work our thread forward here. Now, just make sure, sorry when you're tying this fly, that you leave plenty of room at the top because there's lots going on with this wee fly. Just work our thread up to there. Then we're going to come around with our olive holographic tinsel. Now you can also put some varnish or super glue onto the, the thread before you bring up your holographic tinsel. Turns will catch that in, come in and trim away the waist. The body haggle, if you get another fly to this, you're going to chartreuse cock haggle. Just catch this in. Then we're just going to palmer this down. Now, usually I like to get two turns going at the shoulder of the fly, but like I say, there's that's going on the top here so you don't want to be overdressing it. Just follow this around with our wire. We can four turns of the short trees wire up the body. At this point any wee favours that want to go forward just fold them back. Bring the wire up in front. Nice tight turns now to catch these in. Then you can bend them break away the wire. Then we'll just come in and trim away the tip of the haggle at the back. Right. Just give the, I'm just running the haggle through my fingers a few times just to get it to, to sit the way I want. And then we can just work our thread back up just, just to where we caught in the, the chartreuse haggle at the start. Next haggle you're going to uh, yeah, or sorry, an orange Badger haggle, it's the, the badger key up there, just looking at one of those. Now, if you don't have one of those, just use an orange haggle, straight through orange. A couple of turns will catch that in, fold the tip back, come in, remove the tip, come in with our scissors, stroke the stems of the haggle back. And you're going to be three turns of this. Like I say, just always be mindful that you need to leave a bit of space at the front because we're going to cloak the lower hackle to go on after that. We're going to cloak it with some bronze mallard. And then we have a, a bronze mallard wing to put on. So, back up. Next hackle, you're going to. Yeah, the stem of this is broke at the bottom, but you can still use it. You're going to lay them green. Or a guinea fowl dyed lime green. Just going to catch that in. A couple of turns, going to fold the tip back. Work the thread back up. Come in and locate the tip. We'll break that away now. Because the stems broke away, just going to come in with a wee pair of hackle pliers here. So you can see what I'm doing. 
I'm looking two turns of the uh, getting fuel here. Should be plenty. Bring your thread on down to the end of the hook and then back up. I'm just going to come in and just open up those fibers just to see what we were sitting. I'm happy enough for that, so I'm just going to put a wee lick of wax on my thread here just to give me a bit of grip. Now, I've got Mallard, the bronze Mallard at the front. We're going to cloak it, or cloak it, yep, so this is dyed a sunburst. Now you don't need, well it depends on how much bronze mallard you like in your, in your flies. I just use a small pinch here. Now to be, make it easier to cloak for you. See the, where the skin has ripped off? Trim that away. Now you want to probably have this just slightly longer than the guinea fair, yet again that'll be up to you when you start tanning it and then just come round nice and loose and let the let the bronze mallard come round with you a couple of nice tight turns here now just to make sure that the thread isn't going to move down onto the, the eye of the hook have a wee check, now I'm happy enough for that then just come in with the waist ends and trim these away like I said, Scooby Fly is for the urn um, I've tied it for a couple of friends before for uh, Sheelin as well, now at this point I'm going to take a couple of turns back, bring my thread on down then to the eye of the hook and then back up. Don't worry about tidying up fully yet. Still another couple of bits and pieces to go. So it'll all come together at the end. Then we're going to get our bronze mallard feather for a wing. Strip away the rubbish at the bottom. Bring your bronze mallard out from the stem, rip it away. And then we're just going to fold this in. One, two. Just bring your fingers through it, and that's your your bronze mallard wing. Length of the wing, up to you guys. Probably want it. I don't know. We're in about maybe just we're in about the length of the the cloaked mallard or maybe just slightly longer staff it right up just come in pinch it onto the, the hook remember the pinching loop take a couple of turns right. just see what way you're sitting because you're not happy you can always go go back at this point right. I'm not happy with that so I'm going to bring my thread back just give it a wee flick Back around with a pinch and loop. Just tighten it up until it again. Yeah, that's better. At this point, just lift the waist ends of the mallard. Trim those away. Now, what we're going to do, we're just going to take a couple of turns here at the front, then bring your thread to the eye of the hook. And then you're going to work your thread up over some of the cut ends yet again. Don't be trying to to cover it all up because you'll just bulk the head up at this point. Now just to finish you off you're just looking to lame green goose bats just take the two bats I'm going to separate them here in my hand they're being fiddly with me just to get them level 
Now, offer these up to the hook. Now you don't want them. This is just more like a wee highlight. So you don't want them too far in to the fly. Just come around. Nice tight turns here. Just to first of all see what way we're we're sitting. Now I'm happy enough with that. So I'm just going to tighten up. I'm going to hold the three. I'm going to trim these away. Just usually it would break them away, but I've got a bit of a fairly steep head here, so better being safe than sorry at this point. Bring it back round, and then we're just going to tidy up. So just come down to our goose pads again, then your thread to the eye of the hook, and then you can build up your head at this point and tidy everything up that you need to. Now, see with dabblers, there's some cracking fly tires out there that can tie great dabblers. Don't, don't be shy with the size of the head on a dabbler. It's part of the fly. It's you're, you're trying to imitate like a bait fish or something like that. Even though it looks nothing like anything in the water. But uh, keeping your thread tight. Go straight in with your whip finishing tool and just throw in a whip finish. Pull your thread tight. Come in trim away your, your tan thread. Then the first coat onto the head, we drop a super glue. Just take your time with a super glue. And if you're using super glue on your dabblers as well, it'll give you a nice finished deer fly, much like a salmon fly. It'll just seal up all the thread turns. Just provide that nice sheen. One more thing before we go, just make sure that the eye is clean before you, before you varnish. And there you go guys, that's the, the Emerald Gobbler. Like I say, there's the, the other wee babies, that's the other two. Um, you face the urn, you face any of the, the Irish locks, I think it's worth having a couple of those in your box. Um, it's a great wee fly, nice and bright, nice and colourful. It's got everything that you want to see in a in an Irish log fly. So there you go guys, the yeah, Admiral Dobler. Anyway, as always, thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's always greatly appreciated. I know how people how busy people are. And uh, all being well, I'll see you on the next one.